Hi, Els here, and today we're going to cover cost behavior patterns, variable, fixed, and mixed costs. Let's start with variable costs. The easiest way to show variable costs is to use a graph. I'm going to focus on a manufacturing environment, just because it's a little bit easier to understand. But keep in mind that these concepts also apply to non-manufacturing environments, such as providing services. In this case, the y-axis is total variable costs. And the x-axis is the level of activity. I'm going to use a short form. The level of activity in this case is how many units we actually produce because we're working with a manufacturing environment. If I produce zero units, the variable costs will be zero because variable costs vary with the level of activity. Every time I produce one more unit, my variable cost is going to increase. Total variable costs vary with the level of activity. When I'm looking at this graph, this slope is equal to the per unit variable cost. Notice that the slope doesn't change with the level of activity. If I now graph the per unit variable costs, you can see that the per unit variable costs are constant. They don't change with the level of activity. Total variable costs vary with the level of activity. Per unit variable costs are constant with the level of activity. Variable costs. An example of a variable cost would be the direct material that you actually use or consume in order to produce a product. It could also be the amount of labor that has to be consumed in order to produce one unit of product. Both of these are variable costs because if we produce no units, we're not going to use any direct material and we're not going to use any labor. Let's move on to fixed costs. Again, we're going to use a graph in order to demonstrate this and we're using a manufacturing environment. The x-axis is still level of activity, but the y-axis is total fixed costs. Regardless of our level of activity, even if we're producing zero, the fixed costs are still going to be incurred. Our fixed costs are constant regardless of the level of activity. What if we look at per unit fixed costs? Again, the x-axis is going to be level of activity. If we produce zero units, how much will it cost us? We can see from our total fixed cost graph that it's still going to cost us money. Let's assume $100,000. So even if I produce zero units, it's going to cost me $100,000. What if I produce one unit? it's still going to cost me $100,000. What if I produce two units? If I produce two units, it's only going to cost me $50,000 per unit. $100,000 divided by two units is going to be equal to $50,000 per unit. What if I produce four units? $100,000 divided by four units is going to equal $25,000 per unit. You can see what's happening here. Our per unit fixed cost is an exponential. Every time we produce additional units, it's going to decrease the cost per unit. Fixed costs per unit vary with the level of activity. However, total fixed costs are constant regardless of the level of activity. Going back to variable costs, per unit variable costs are constant regardless of the level of activity. Whereas, Total variable costs vary with the level of activity. Is this always true? That depends on the relevant range. And that's a concept that I'll cover in my next video.